guys good morning happy sunday um welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is annie and i run the instagram and blog page all things annie hayes if you've been here before welcome back um today is sunday and i kind of just wanted to take you guys on like my sunday errand routine day um so it is the morning it's about 10 o'clock and i got up this morning and kind of just laid in bed i wanted like a cozy relaxed morning so I'm about to make my coffee and breakfast um, and then I have some errands to do today I'm going to get my toes done and a couple of few other things so hopefully I can take you guys along um, and yeah let's get into it Okay, and then for my dairy-free um, cold foam, I kind of just like made this up by testing a lot of things. So I'm using this almond milk beverage from Trader Joe's. This is the unsweetened vanilla. Um, and then I also mix it with the coconut and almond milk creamer. Coconut creamer actually froths pretty well. Um, almond milk doesn't froth on its own, so that's why I'm adding in the coconut and almond milk creamer. And then I just add a little bit of this vanilla bean syrup. I got this at Home Goods and I just add a little bit of that to the froth um, for some flavor. But yeah, that's basically it. And then I'll add it on top of my coffee. Um, this is just a pod from my Nespresso machine. So I got my Nespresso machine for Christmas and I really wanted an iced coffee today, so basically I'll just brew one and then put it in the freezer for a little, but if I were to have a, um, a hot coffee, I would obviously just drink it then. And then the frother came with my Nespresso machine, but it has a setting for cold and a setting for hot, so I'll link that down below, but yeah, I love it. Okay, and now for breakfast, um, I'm going to make a little kind of yogurt bowl, but I normally don't eat breakfast at like first thing when I get up. I normally am like a late breakfast eater. I do love breakfast foods, but I don't like eating them like at nine o'clock. I'll normally eat breakfast around like 10, 30, 11, whatever. So um, most of these ingredients, I actually all these ingredients I got from Trader Joe's. Um, so the yogurt I'm using is this Trader Joe's Creamy Almond. This is a dairy-free yogurt, um, and the vanilla, vanilla bean flavor. Um, I love this yogurt. I think it's a great consistency. It's not too, like, thick and also not too runny. So highly recommend that. And then I'm going to add some strawberries and bananas. And then this is the granola that I like, also from Trader Joe's. This is the almond butter granola, and it has... Um, almonds and like an almond butter taste to it so I really like to add that and then I like adding peanut butter to mine because I, it keeps me full for longer so this is the crunchy peanut butter from Trader Joe's unsalted um, which I think makes a huge difference so I'll drizzle a little bit of that and then I have some honey that I don't have out here um, that I'll add to the bowl
Okay, so I am at the mall right now. I don't really have anything that I need to like get per se. Um, there's a couple things I just want to look for. So Zara has a pair of these like split leg leggings that I wanted to see if they had at the mall. And then this H&M actually has an H&M home. Um, and there's this little tray that I want for my dresser. Um, so I'm kind of going to look for both those things, but honestly more to just like look around. Um, I haven't really been to the mall in a while and normally when I go, I only stop in like three stores. Um, and that's what I'm kind of, kind of do today. Um, and then after I kind of leave the mall, I'm going to go get my toes done. Um, and I'll show you guys that. Just got back to my apartment from my errands today, but I wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing. Um, so I just have this cute little jacket from H&M because I didn't feel like wearing a jacket today. Um, this sweatshirt is from The Bar. Uh, it's actually really comfortable and super cute, like oversized. So I have that. And then these are my Lululemon flare, kick flare pants from literally like high school. Like... My high school colors were black and yellow, so obviously I had to get the waistband for my high school. Um, and then my shoes are just Puma sneakers. So I'll try to link everything down below, but this is normally what I wear like on the weekends if I'm not doing anything, just wanna be super cozy. And then my hair is literally so greasy, so it's up in a bun um, with one of my slip scrunchies. But let me show you guys what I got when I ran errands. So this is everything. Um, I did get more things that weren't from H&M Home, so I'll show you guys what I got. So I want to show you guys what I got. I know the lighting's a little bad in here, so bear with me, but this is everything I got. Um, most of it is from H&M Home and Target. My H&M actually has a home section in it. Um, I know a lot of H&M's don't, but they do have like an online section, so check there. I actually get a lot of my home decor stuff um, from H&M Home. Okay, so first up is Target. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got, but also I'm gonna kinda explain it and then show it to you after. Um, I got these hand towels and washcloth set in this like tan tone color. This is by the Threshold brand. Um, but my room is kind of like very neutral, tan, um, and then sprinkled in like a little bit of dusty pink. But basically I got back from quarantine in September to my apartment and I um, didn't like my room. So I completely redid it and really changed up the vibes to fit like more of my aesthetic. I have been living in this apartment for two and a half years. So obviously my style is going to change from when I first got here and my bathroom was kind of the last thing that fit my old room so now I wanted to like switch over the vibes of my bathroom now um to kind of fit exactly like what my room is like so I'll show you guys like a before and after video of that in here as well but then I got a new shower curtain so this one is just a tan and a white again this is from Threshold Super cute. And then just like another clear shower liner um, because mine needs to be replaced. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Um, just some multi-surface cleaner. This is Mr. Mrs. Myers. Um, I love Mrs. Myers because I think that it works really well and I absolutely love the smell. So this one is a geranium scent. So I haven't tried that one, but excited about that next is a Clorox cleaner and bleach um, so I have this to use to clean my shower and then another like just shower suds scrub or whatever so I'll be using this plus the other cleaner that I have to clean my shower when I have the shower curtain off because I feel like I'll be able to like disinfect it a lot more. Um, this was actually recommended by Molly's favorites. I'll leave her handle down below, but she has a lot of good cleaning tips on her Instagram. So I actually got that recommendation from her Instagram. 
some sponges because I needed more. Um, I got this little soap dispenser because I thought it was really pretty and it matched the little cup that I got that I'll show you from H&M Home. So this is also from Target. And then the last thing that I got from Target is this little dry brush. So I've been loving my like body skin routine and I've been using my exfoliator from Necessaire. So I wanted to try the dry brush before it. I think that a lot of people have said this helped. So I'm excited to try. Okay. And then the next stuff that I got is all from H&M Home. So I got three things from there. Um, the first thing is this bathtub holder so i've been taking a lot of baths just to like relax and decompress from the day um but I always find that i have nowhere to like put my phone or my book or a candle or whatever because i don't really have a lot of space in my shower so i got this that i'm really excited about and hopefully it fits and then i got this little tray so this is just a little wooden tray um I want to either put it in my bathroom or actually in my room for my perfume so i'll show you guys that whichever i decide to do where because i also got this little glass um and gold tray from h&m home so i couldn't decide whether or not i wanted to do this one or the wooden one in my bathroom um so i'll either do one in my room or one in my bathroom but i'll show you guys what i decide for that and then the last thing I got is this little gold cup for my toothbrush and toothpaste. And so it will sit next to this little um, soap dispenser. It doesn't really bother me that this gold is different than this gold, but it would bother some people, I'm sure. So these will go next to each other. And yeah, that's all I got from H&M, Home, and Target. And those are my errands today. I also got my toes done. Um but I didn't really want to show you guys that because I didn't want to bring my camera in there, but I got like a deep mocha brown color, um, which has been really in recently. So yeah, I'll kind of show you guys my bathroom transformation and hopefully like my nightly routine. My bathroom looks like now. We have my little skincare area and a little flower. This painting, which I'll keep because my boyfriend drew it for me for my birthday last year some hand towels and soap and stuff towels and then all these pictures are that i took from jamaica um and i will be replacing these i just haven't ordered the prints yet and that's a little back of my toilet area and then here is my shower curtain and bath mats um and then my laundry basket so i haven't gotten a new laundry basket yet so i'll still have to replace that but and I haven't gotten new pictures yet, but pretty much everything else will be transformed. Um, but first I'm going to clean, so stay tuned. Okay guys, so we're back and I put my hair up because it took me so long to clean the shower, but anyways, here are some of the updates that I made. So I just put a little books there with a the candle and my little Buddha, and then my soap dispenser and my toothbrush holder and I'm not sure I actually want to keep that there because I'm not loving the way that it looks but just keeping it very simple and minimal and then over here I kept the little bamboo tray in here just a few like items that I use the most and then I got some new hand towels those are there and then I brought one of my plants for my room actually in here so I put that there and then my new shower curtain. So, I think that I'm going to change out these pictures and do either black and white or like neutral pictures, but those are the updates. A little goes a long way. And then I'll show you my room. Okay, and again, I really didn't change much in here, but basically I had this little fiddle leaf plant on the other side and then that smaller jar over here and then I had a big circle tray in the middle there but I kind of wanted to go a little bit more minimal so I put this tray here 
and then just really cleaned it up so you can see what it was like before kind of over here because i didn't show before on my apartment tour video i've also added another hat to my hat wall and a little autumn in there and then that's what it looks like <laughs> 